guys, what's going on? DeathXEagle here, and we are back here in Kingdoms, and they have updated the game again. They fixed quite a bit of the things I kind of had complaints about, about how like animals and uh, the NPCs would go through rocks, and um, a few other the bugs. They fixed a lot of bugs and um, add, finished, fleshed out the um, system with the, uh, that's a new sound with the NPCs and settlements. They've kind of fleshed that out. Um, so we are going to um, get into that and check and see how that goes. We're gonna build the settlement and we are gonna meet uh, meet all the people here on the beach real quick. Then we're gonna start a settlement and get underway and seeing what you can do with these new settlement management options. So I'm going to run around and I'm going to try to introduce myself to everyone and um, yeah. And dialogue. And dialogue. Man, there's a lot of people that get off the boat. Ready? I've met all of you. Okay. Met you, I've met you, I've met you. Probably have not met you over here. Zoom on over. Nope. And, well, there's probably some f other people on this farther side that I have not met yet. Met you, I've met you, so probably you is the only one I haven't met over here. I'm here. Okay, so I believe that is everyone. And I am going to go ahead and run around and find a good place for me to start building a settlement. And when I find that place, I will uh, come back to you. Alrighty guys, so I've done some running around and I think I found a pretty nice location to kind of start a settlement. Um, I have lots of trees here and we have a quite a bit of nice flat ground here. And uh, yeah, I think this is where we're going to end up building our settlement. So um, one thing I didn't go, in the, go over in the last settlement build, uh, building video I did where I just kind of quickly showed off the settlement building is I never really went over the skills. And uh, skills are a little bit important. So to be able to s start building a settlement right from the get-go, you need to take three skills. You need to take Worker, the second perk in Worker called Taskmaster, and then Scholar. These three skills will, will allow you to build um, the settlement right off the rip. Now unfortunately you're going to do it a lot slower because you don't have any of the other resource gathering skills like Chopper. This one allows you to get wood faster. Um, Gardener will allow you to be able to get food better. And if you wanted to do like blacksmithing, um, Digger. But those aren't really important right now. We're just focusing on settlement building, so yeah. So let's go ahead and start uh, placing our buildings. So this is going to be the, kind of the center of your settlement. So we're going to place the well right here. Oh, I can never think of a name. Um, see, West.
hill land what's hill land i don't know sure that's right so this is one of the cool things they've added in with the new settlement is that you can um customize your banners now um ooh, i actually kind of like that one because it has like a mountain you know kind of goes with the hills so as you can see here you know um councils none tax collectors none general none ambassador none they've added in a lot of a lot more um in the settlement management and building you can have a council now tax collectors a general ambassadors um you got finances and laws militias there's a whole bunch more you can do now so you know you can right here you can set your tax rate uh, let's do a five percent uh, laws okay so this is kind of cool so the tax collectors can gather taxes twice a month can cause rebellion Ooh, that's cool they can actually rebel up against your leadership that's really cool and then if you want you can um the leader could be the only one who could build the houses and um the buildings that do manufacturing um in the settlement yourself and then you can sell them all off which is kind of cool if you want to do a really custom thing but um yeah i kind of want to do this um huh so i'm not quite sure how this tab works i'm gonna to have to look into this because this is the first time me playing with the new update stuff so i don't fully know how everything works just yet um but this looks pretty cool that you can customize equipment for your soldiers it looks like that's pretty cool and you can actually have guards so that's pretty sweet all right so then we're going to go ahead and get into the next building which is the notice board which hopefully i can just kind of plop I don't want it too far away from the well. Huh. Oh, they really don't want you to place this really close to the well for some reason. That's really weird. How about we do it like right here next to this rock? Will you let me do it that way? There we go. Yeah, that looks good. So here you can kind of see, you know, the leaders, me, sellers, I'm the only one, houses, uh, prosperity, very poor, houses, houses, taverns, shops, tax happiness very unhappy <laughs> all right so let's try to let's try to fix that um let's go ahead and place our next building and this is going to be the common house and hopefully we can kind of place this somewhere over here -ish? maybe you know i thought i did a good job picking out a flat location apparently i didn't <laughs> all right i think right here would be a good spot all right so this is going to require 15 uh, logs so i'm gonna have to go and chop down some trees that's gonna take me a while so once i get the wood harvested and get this thing almost built i will come back to you guys so just give me a second here 
Alrighty guys, I am back. So, in chopping down trees, I did gain a level. So I'm level 2 now. So, um, when we get a settler that comes by, since I have 500 gold and 10 experience, I can actually use some of that to unlock one of these other skills, judging on what that settler has available for training. So that's going to be pretty cool. So I got 14 out of 15 logs. I'm about to go ahead and add number 15 here. So we can get this building built. And there we go. We have the common house. It's a pretty cool building. Uh, you can come in here and sit at one of these tables. And you can uh, cook food. Different meats and stuff. And there's a bunch of beds. Downstairs and upstairs. That can all be used to be slept in. To pass time. So now that we have that built, um, let's go check the board here, make sure we didn't get any new arrivals. Nope. Alright, so at this point, we can kind of start building whatever we want. Uh, we can start building other sh um, houses. We can't build shops because we don't have the trader perk, or skill I should say. So we can't build any shops, but we can build some other houses to try to attract some more uh, settlers. As well, if we wanted to, we can go ahead and uh, try to build the city hall. That's going to take a whopping 50 wood. So I might do that in another episode. Right now, I want to try to get some of the basic stuff going. As um, far as some housing going and try to get some more villagers. Or, yeah, villagers, settlers, whatever you want to call them. Um, here so we can try to start working on our economy and try to get our poverty level up higher to where no one's like you know very poor and homeless so um, I'm going to go ahead and build a couple houses and then I will show you um, that when that is done alrighty guys I am back I have a two houses built here uh, this small house here, just kind of your bare minimum, a single room, is uh, only about five logs to construct. This one's about seven. This one's a little bit bigger. I think it's actually a two room. Yeah, it's like a two room. You got your, all your storage area here and your living space over here. Now to attract people, I actually have to put these houses up for sale. I'm going to go ahead and put that one for sale. And we'll put this one up for sale. Now, um, settlers can actually walk by and go, oh, that's a nice house, and actually buy it. So that's pretty cool. So I'm going to go ahead and continue chopping down some trees, building some more housing, and um, start planning out just how I kind of want the uh, this town square to look like. Um, also try to figure out a place where I can put that city hall um, building at. Now, as you can see, that progress there, that percentage is going up pretty slowly. And that's because I don't have any skills in wood chopping. There it is. Um, you can see this is going a little faster, but still not quite fast. Um, if I had a skill called Chopper, this would go a lot quicker. But unfortunately, I don't. So we'll just get this block here broke up. Do 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 do. I'm on two left. One ah. Uh, I'll let my stamina recharge real quick. There you go. And there we are. So if we want, we can try to build um, a fancier house. So, like, we can try to build this two-story house. 
here. Let's see, is it possible for me to fit this one? Would it let me do it? No, nah, it's not going to let me do it. That's okay. So, do you let me put this one so about right there is where you're going to allow me to put it. So, go ahead and we'll put the RX away. Get this one built. And pretty much every action you do in this game, you're going to get XP for it. And um, that's how you level up your character. By doing building, crafting, gathering, combat, exploration. Um, that's how you level up your character. Eventually, um, once this gets built up and gets populated, bandits will come and attack it. And you'll have to have your militia... Uh, kind of try to guard your settlement from the bandits. Um, it gets to be quite fun. So, get this one built. I'm going to want to keep this house for me for right now because I don't have a house right now. This is going to be a two story house, so it's going to be fancy. And one more. And whoop. there she is. Look at that sky. That sky is beautiful. Alright, so we're going to go ahead. And we're going to go take a gander inside. Get your storage back here underneath the staircase. You got your little eating table. And up here you got the bedroom. Is actually getting kind of late. Um, let's sleep for uh, 10 hours. And hopefully it's not raining when we wake up. Alright, so another uh, settlement's been established. And we have t 32 out of 3,000 settlers. Two new Settlements have been established. Now, those settlements can be anything from actual towns and villages to bandit camps to um, farms. And you won't know unless you go out and find them. So that guy there with the... I thought they said they fixed that. Uh, maybe they just fixed it with animals? Maybe they didn't fix it with the NPCs? I'll have to go back and look at the patch notes and see. Let's go see if he's actually a part of our settlement. No, he's just visiting. Okay. Oh, he might be able to teach us a skill, though. Hey, buddy. Oh, I don't know you yet. Nice to meet you. Oh, wait. I need some help with the settlement. Huh. Uh, what can you teach me? Uh, I don't have enough gold for that. <laughs> so he has the more advanced um, architecture. So can I collect taxes from you? How's it health? Well, I have houses for sale, sir. You should buy one. Are you going to buy that one? Here, I'll even post this one for sale. For sale. See? No? Oh. 
help you. You? You could be a better leader here, but I will help. You say you will help, but I don't get any other additional options here. Okay. I don't know. Alrighty. Well, at least we're growing. <laughs> um, I guess I'll just keep building houses. My happiness is very happy. Um, hmm. Interesting. Okay. Well, I will... I guess I'll just keep building houses until something happens. So I will check back with you guys later. Hey guys, I am back. So far this is what we've got with the uh, settlement. I ended up building this three-story house here, which took quite a few logs. I think like 30 logs. And I've also started building the uh, city hall, which just was 50 logs. We're going to go ahead and complete this now. And boom, there we go. City hall building is built. So, let's see. This is the settlement finances. So he's a gardener. Hmm. Interesting. That's going to be fun when we get some more people and we can actually play around with that uh, settlement system. Barracks... Because you don't actually do anything at the moment. Uh, I think this is the... Okay, so the politics management isn't in, uh, implemented yet. So they just did the, the basic settlement management. It's been implemented. Okie dokie. It's still cool though. So let's go see what the notice board says. Real quick. So, okay. So we have very happy, 5% 5% tax. Settlers gold is 200. Common house, yes. Shops and taverns, zero. Alrighty. So, we are looking pretty good. We did have someone come and join the settlement. Um, I think he bought this house right here for like 25 gold, and here he is. He's sweeping his floor. How can I help? Would you like to be on console? I need a tax collector. I have no commanders for the army. Hmm. Now on console in your settlement. Okay. So you know Gardner. I do want Gardner. So I'm going to go ahead and learn that perk. Skill. Why aren't you not working? <laughs> So, okay, so he's part of the council now. What does that... I gotta figure out what that... What the council members do. That's what I gotta figure out. Is there something in here that will tell me if I go... 
in here. Soldier zero, ambassador minus 500, general minus 500, tax collector minus 500, console, trade agreements, so why are we in the hole already? A little confused. Maybe I should take him off the console. <laughs> Interesting. I don't know how that works. Look at the map real quick. So here's the map. Um, it's a fairly large map. And this is our city here with two people. Me and the other guy. <laughs> um, I really need to learn the traitor perk as well. Thank you for letting me collect taxes. And that is a very scary thing of your eye. Alright, well, you uh, enjoy your holiday. Alright, so we've gotten a pretty decent look of the new system. Um, I'm going to try to see if there's something in the patch notes that kind of say what the ambassador and the council members and stuff do for the settlement management. Um, I don't know if there is. I'll have to look through there a little bit closely because it was a really big patch list um, of stuff they patched and implemented and whatnot. So I'll have to try to read there and try to dig up some information on how this system works. Um, yeah. So if I hope you liked what you've seen here, if you do, hit the like button, subscribe for more. Um, remember, we have the Realm for Minecraft, if you're interested in that. There's a playlist uh, that will be linked at the end of this video for that, so you can check out the Realm. Um, and we will see you guys next time here on Death Exeal Gaming. Later, everyone.